Let's go. Bear next flash, Bear's blacklist game 3 na guys. 1 1 ng standing 1. Uh, prepared to play from red side. If they do favor those two pick swings and that last pick to close up that draft. Or we're going to go ban na ba? If you look at game 1, so much flex. Look at that game. Dino man. Eh. No, no, no. Ano na ba na? Sometimes the meta game dictates where you should be playing and here this time around blacklist on the play. Yep. This this time blacklist getting themselves first pick and Burnex flash understood that that could be a very high likelihood that they want to prioritize <laughs> onto the Fred no pick. Yeah. And that is probably the main reason why Flanders yep. International wants to go for the first pick. And then they just, uh, Black uh, Burnex Flash, they battle Frederick, understanding the situation that Frederick is the hero of this matchup. Chima has to hold on to that, or maybe they have to deny that away from uh, Wise. There is no Vario. Do you go Valentina here if you're Burnix Slash? The Kaja also look well. I think you go Joy Valentina if you're Burnix Slash in this particular game. Joy Valentina. So far, we've been seeing Joy just going out in the open, and both Blacklist International and Burnix Slash have played both of the team, but they focused onto a Claude okay. and a Yeev pick. I love it. Claude good to do. Not to. Bakal Leslie and Chanyan. Leslie ni Owl. They will be forced to go for the Kaso may raban siya sa Eve pag nag Leslie si Owl. Then again for Blacklist, they can still go back to the Joy. I think the Joy is still good in this particular game going up against the Claude. They're also trying to see if the Joy gets picked up by Edward because yeah. Akaja is to the first phase to try to counter that. So yep. it's all in Blacklist playground now. What yeah. do they want to go for? Yeah, no, uh, I think uh, the uh, Joy Kaja seems solid. Yeah. Leslie Kaja? It gives uh, the Bavaria uh, room to breathe. It can be able to play it. And instead, Kaja is very early. Very early. Box show ulit. Normal, normal na nung Claude dyan, mama. Pero okay lang, blade armor lang build ni Wise dyan. Anyways, kidding aside, I... I, this is very questionable. You do understand why they want to go for Joy plus Baksha because you want to go in together. But Claude is not a hero that sits back. Leslie, right. I understand why they go for yes. that. But Claude wants to go in with the team. So you just pick up the glue and you're okay. A okay. It worked for them. And they are willing to play that again. You know why they did not pick up the Kaja this time? I think that they're eyeing for Natalia. Burnix Slash might go for the last pick oh. Natalia. Oh. So Blacklist, you have to ban that out. They have they, to. Yeah, game number one, that is what they did. They already went for the Natalia ban. Yep. You have to respect that. Uh, you gotta. If you're Burning Slash, maybe you ban out uh, perhaps Faramis. Oh, Faramis. I think you ban out Faramis here. I can't believe Faramis is left open like this. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, Beatrix. They still go for Beatrix. Yeah. Maybe left open all the way to the end here. Yeah. I mean, Would it really? I think it's a bit too risky, but I think they want to just see what Blacklist want to go for first. Yeah. What bands they want to go for here. It's also pretty good that Burning Slash read out that Owl would go for the Beatrix, right? Good One of his signature know. picks, the only pick that, he, that he's really, well, hit Beatrix and Brody, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's definitely a telltale sign that Burning Slash would, no, would very likely might not want to look at getting a Lolita for themselves either. Mm -hmm. Blacklist International, in this case, they have the Novaria. Novaria can go mid, can go Rome. Yeah. We've got the Joy, can go mid, can go EXP. So there is still some kind so, so Gluna of naman. flexibility in their yeah. name. So is Oh My Venus going to be picking up the Lolita for themselves? Or yeah. are we looking at a Minotaur? Because this doesn't seem exactly too big of a yeah. all so in. So game man, Blacklist. Sharky no only moon din din kasi third stars. In this particular game for Blacklist International. Uh, it oh. will be banned out. Okay. So they just ba they will be forcing like a Lolita, perhaps. Permis still up. Make, they might take it actually. If you're, uh, for D7. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. But they gotta watch out for the Melissa. Is Melissa really gonna be a problem? Melissa or Carrie? Those are still mm. out there. Yeah. Against Faramis, it is a big problem. But the thing is, they already have a pretty good matchup up against the Melissa in the quad. Going mm. for the Faramis is a bit too greedy, in my opinion. They already have okay. a unit. Unless they want to go for, yeah, Faramis Rome, I guess, for D7. But they need uh, some, some sort of lockdown onto the Joy. With the ban on the Kaja, now they won't have as much. They do have the glue, though. So that could be the counter to this uh, Joy. So they need kind of uh, a way to defend now the Claude. Maybe they. Pick up the Lolita themselves, the, right? Uh, uh, atoga, or maybe a Grok. What about a Minsetar? A Minsetar. Minsetar. That, actually, you're right. We haven't seen a Minsetar in so long. That's, that's actually a good pick here for Burn Slash, if ever. They have the they, they have the box. They will have the circle. Martis first. Do we have a triangle? Yeah, no, they're, they're in no rush to pick you up a Rover. Valentina. Rush again. Now we're in your blacklist. Or Faramis. 
Thermos and Lolita both still up for grabs. I think Lolita mm -hmm. is going to struggle a bit against a Marnus yeah. and a Glue. Thermos and uh, perhaps a... Uh, Thumbnail yun guys, thumbnail. Deal with the glue, the Mars. Maybe a carry, actually. Carry and yeah. Thermis here for Blacklist International. Or they could just go Brody. A good lane as well, up against the Claude. It's just yeah. really scary up against the Eve. I yeah. uh, and the glue. I, and the glue. I know uh, I know for a fact that Blacklist International love to get lane priorities. Yung and Donut kampi mo ba datin? Oh, si Donut kampi ko datin sa next play. May future talaga yung batang yan. So with that all said, yes. oh, okay. forgot about yes, yes. Martis. But then again, it kind of makes it so that the Lolita. Di nagbunong less the yung Burnix dash tapo ng lugi si Donut yun. Deals well with Novaria with Leslie. Yes. O ba alam lang nila countering? Gagin lagkit nga ng pangatatang maglees ni Jen kasi may glue chok ayib. Lagkit nyan. To go for a hard lockdown. There's also that argument that can be made for the choke. May glue choke ayib, may robo na siya aldi din pero positioning nang kaya nyan. Speaking of which, they don't really have a lot of lockdown, do they? They don't have lockdown. Not a lot, right? No, no reliable lockdown. Don't answer for the joy as well. The choke. The Cho would be the best, I think. The Kufra works as well, technically, with Valentina, but this is a big hit or miss. If they're not able to find the, low, the Leslie, or shut the Leslie down for the early game, which is already a Kupra. tough task for the Claude to do. Yeah. I see the Kufra either working so well because maybe Oh My Venus doesn't spot out D7, given the uh, Astral Echo, but look at how Blacklist has been working, even from a losing angle, even when they're behind. I'm pretty sure they know how to check their bushes, do their homework. You can hear the audience na, game na. in Aeon Mall 3, Mian Chai. The Cambodians know that if they do this right, if they take game 3, Burnex Flash sits at match point, and I don't know what the agents are willing to do here. If, if, if they're able to match the energy that the Cambodians are presenting. This is going to be the make it or break it game for Blacklist International. So much that they have to fight for. Will they game, be game, able game. to do it so in this game number three? Here, ba, ba, into ba. Land of Dawn, Burn X Flash, they are towering on against Blacklist. Uh, typically, we go for the Leslie. You want to go up against very tanky heroes. That's the idea. You want to chunk them down. This time, there's a lot of mobility on the side of Burn X Flash. With the Claude, you have the Eve that can also take out the Leslie if ever they find the opening. And they also have Kufra and Glue. So, good as it may for the Leslie. So much hype, for sure. But oh, it doesn't slow. mean that it's a sure win. Fast clear in the mm -hmm. mid lane. Instantly towards this bottom lane. Wanting to put more pressure down and give Owl a better lane as D7 jumps in with the Tyrant's Revenge. One they damage come out onto Owl, but the does the same thing. It should actually be Burnex Flash with a victory. Almost Ooh. a solo kill from D7. But he's going to be caught very low. He needs to be careful here as Venus goes for the Astral Spear. Nice. Good dodge, good sidestep. The Cambodian crowd roars for it. So now Blacklist and the Nats are going to down to the so bottom. Lesley. They did manage to poke D7 out of that fight. And they are yan. definitely going to make full use of this opportunity Ta -ta since Kufra is ni all the way back home. Might want to shift things around. C can't move himself down to the southern side. They know that Owl is low in HP. Void Crystal tries to pick him off. No flicker. Not Very expensive use. early on. D7 could be spotted out though. Good shield in the mm -hmm. good opening from Wise, but I was playing this wave very well. He wants to the spot, they decide to shove it back to Donut. With the flicker already used up from the side of Owl, but X yep. very likely would want to make full use of these op uh, this opportunity yep. for the past or for the next 120 seconds. This yep. lane must be targeted. They must put more. Si Donut on the so let's be honest. Here, it's a joy versus glue. Who's gonna die there? Well, only the one who makes a mistake. Only the one makes a mistake. The magic on the arrow, what we are looking for. And Edward, meantime. Split, split. Already right now, Venus trying to go for the kill. Come on, on the Martis. Still having pretty healthy health bar <laughs> there. Seacat is going to get chunked, going to get spotted out. Yue actually stole away the decimation. He's so looking for the Spence right now. He charges in onto Yue. Not quite finding him, but Yue does a lot of damage back. Wise, one level advantage. Still having the retribution as he picks up the purple buff. ATM has come back alive. After recalling, Chama now gonna be engaged on. After real world manipulation in the back line as well. Onto Yuen, forcing him out. Chama wins out the retry battle. Wise now caught on the pickle. 
as easily summed up, but Burnix Flash, no, they got the victory. They got the better trade. They do not need to go for more. Oh, D7, oh, really participating in the teamfight so well. He sat back even oh. when he was very low. Revenge in the rage. Not sure if this is going to be enough to kill yeah, Edward, but now the split split. It definitely oh. is. Enough. First blood to Burnix Flash. First blood and a kill and a kill that take a turtle. Just Despite the fact that they don't have Why? enough levels on the Chima, yeah. massive wins for Burnix Flash. Just as I was talking about it, Glue versus Joy will die. But apparently I was very wrong. They still managed to get a kill. Eh. Eh. But at least we'll get a little that kind of that kind of uh si Ul. Ul. Yan yan positioning unless he's uh, unless the joint really just couldn't get back on track. Wow Analisa found that it will be Burnix Flash to control this game and well I would say though Bl Blacklist International the focus on the gold lane mm -hmm. that well, that was well done. Donut is not having a good time. Uh, 1.8k gold. Well, you can see that uh, Nestle is already at 2.2k. So definitely, there's a oh. massive oh. thing. Wow. Wow. Good catch by D7. That's blind. Right as he walked on the wall. Okay. Venus gets caught and Donut. Smoke. He gets the assist. Now Never the lane mind. as well. They're going to be clearing the it out. They want to go for some more pressure here. And honestly, yeah. for Donut, as long as he doesn't die, it's going to be worth it exactly. for him. Never mind what I said. They are helping Donut now. They're helping Donut really well, but now D7 might actually be caught by Blacklist, but there's no kill pressure from Wise. That's the thing. On this box here, you can roam around, you can put pressure down, but D7 just walks away out of it. So eventually, I gotta have to look at, look down on the uh, look at D7, right? That blind Tyrant's Revenge. That set things up for the team. That's eventually gonna be helping Bonnet Slash to get himself that part of the lead. We're looking at a 500, 600 gold difference. That is a steel lake place that we are looking at. ATM zoning in the back. Edward trying to do the same right now. D7 goes in for Tarn's Revenge. Has the rage and he locks him down. Come on! Oh, anyways. Oh, no, down. How? Wise won the retry. 50 50 goes to him. Now ATM is still in the back line of Black Wizard International. D7 charging that revenge up, but only to disengage. Donut clears out the wave. A brilliant steal to ensure this mid-game safety for Blacklist. Oh, no, Dwight's really salvage his team because of that. They, they, were, they were able to win the turtle, so that means that they will get some part of the economy. The fact of the matter remains, though, Donut is now given the license to go for a double lane setup. He now takes up the top lane and the mid lane, as well as some part of the jungle. So. Donut, whatever it is that happened in the early stages, it's now gone. He is now going to be at par. But the fact that uh, there was a good head start for it, for all it means that he will be getting the part that he needs. Still, Burnix Flash will have ooh, their win condition straightened out. Remember, uh, we have seen Owl getting... Uh, sorry, we have seen Donut getting the Blade of Despair plus the Berserker Fury <laughs> at 7 minutes into the game. Uh, so now again. the question is if whether Owl is able to keep up to that tempo and beat Donut in terms of timing. Because the 9 minutes mark is what we want to look out for. The 9 minutes mark is when Burn X Flash eventually activates themselves. I don't know. I think it really depends on Donut, right? Mm -hmm. He has sure. those item power spikes. Right now he's on course for the... Yep. DHS Golden Snap, but yeah, he will go so do it for just the Golden Snap again, similar to his Leslie game in game number two. This is probably just going to be a greedy game. Yeah, Since Donut, yeah. Do Donut can just really clear the way fast. He do that priority, just go in, blazing to it, get out of there, and he will be able to find a lot more value in some other parts of the map. Speaking of some other parts of the map, wise sprint. Committed Donut still oh, able to actually, wow, D7! What on the back sea cat with a kill, Donut! He survives! 1 HP! Venus War isn't able to find the kill! And that's incredible value right as the turtle spawns for Burn X Flash! Oh, uh, two teams that's really playing it well. Ooh. Weiss, very commendable jump on to Weiss Ooh. because what he did was to cut off the double lane that Donut wanted to do. But then again, Donut was able to dodge the plate coming out from Weiss. That's why he didn't die. And he survived through all my videos. All the while, D7 found the opening on the oppose on our opposing goal leader. Little wins, it builds up wise. If he steals no this, way. Oh, no way! Oh, oh, no way! Try by steals it away! Retrimana. Oh my god! Absolutely disgusting! I always have thought that Blender no had that priority. I mean, he did. They were holding on to the tunnel for so long. 
What the heck? Oh, this is on a different planet. That man. was a drive by, literally. Dinaanan lang. Can I help you? I mean, disbelief that that happened. Vertex Dash are already en route to control this game. Wise makes two good plays. Wasn't able to connect onto the kill of Donut, but the f he still managed to do the right call against Vertex Dash. Then he gets the turtle number three. And now he's owning this part mm, of the map as well. You're gonna have to really give big props to this guy. Utilizing the Baksha, all of the utilities that you have for the Baksha to its full you know, full potential. The timing was just bloody impeccable. Wise is so well, used to this. He's so immersed in the role of the jungle. And he knows how to be the king of the jungle. Ooh. He's constantly getting all these retributions in. Game number two, that Ooh. was a fluke. Wise wants to show the world that Blacklist and the oh, national team yeah. himself is still the king of the jungle we got. <laughs> Holy moly, Tona's gonna be dove on now. It weighs into wet. Why is it gonna be locked down? And then the line to us. The tortoise is poisons earlier. Now D7 might just take all of it. All the damage. Real world manipulation as well. I will do the damage onto the back line. And we're Hello. dumping in. Okay. the kill. Lulu also did one of the new list. Oh, bro, I'm not going to do it. Lulu watch him on the back. Looking for the decimation as ATM helps him in his task for glory. One more shot for Chamai. It's miscalculated. And now, oh, Chamai is able to find the kill. Now it's a flicker from ATM to lock out down. Oh, now the kite, ATM will not be able to escape right now. He bombs in his split split. A few more hits than Edward. Finds his third kill in this team fight. Ubo sa mga ti. Instantly towards the blacklist. So many clutch. Pinayrapa ng sarili. For example, Donut was already almost getting out. But he had to cancel the recall. Now he's get, he, get, he gets hit by Weiss. Weiss then is getting killed, but there was an exchange for Blacklist. When Owl wanted to recall back, he was hit by the ultimate of Owl that, that canceled his recall and he was taken out eventually by Edward. Edward, as well as Oh My Venus, just combining, and Owl, I mean, combining for that. But Yue with that Terrify, so that he was able to cancel the animation of ATM. ATM could not complete the stacks so that he will be able to pop the grab grab on to Yue with just because of one terrify. There you go, bro. Another terrify. This is pure lockdown. D7 wants to look for a re-engage right now, but he just pops the tyrant of engines. US steals away the RWM. Now locked down and Seacat's RWM as his whip whip comes down. He's looking for the mount. So it's not nice. it right now. I was free hitting one more shot. Soaks it up with the split split. Oh. Make a five, the damage, have to take oh, down. Was waiting. <laughs> image. Blacklist have outsmarted for an next splash. You and all my Venus were all so close. And this probably so, not the Patay ang og. No one can hit him as long as he's running backwards. Oh, oh, Chima. Chima. You cannot enter here. No way, Chima Oh my Venus splash. ATM was able to find it somehow, somewhere. Oh. Now, 100 to 0. Lord taken for Blacklist. A very different kind of game from the sound of Blacklist, um, Blacklist International now. This is, is very reminiscent of the game number one. But uh. they are technically having a little bit better yep. control as compared to before. There has uh, somebody, somebody has to step up for Blacklist International after that game 2 loss. And now Edward and Wise, they're Edward, really stepping yes. up. Edward. Reading the map so well, knowing that Burning Flash eventually will utilize the the strength of the Claude, waited for the right moment to strike and really shut down what Burning Flash wanted to do. And then there's Wise. All throughout this game, man, he's playing so well. I think it really boils down to playing around the rotations of Edward. They're trying to unlock Edward and trying to make sure that Edward is constantly around the map and being a, a, making full use of that lane priority. Shove the wave out as much as possible. Don't care about ATM. This blue is not worth your time. Focus your time somewhere else. Lord's gonna be slain though. Blacklist unable to utilize this. Lord to take a tier two up top. They should be able to take this tier All two. Game late. Game late. Game late. Game late. Game Red Smash doing pretty good damage control right now as Blacklist are unable to siege on so the turrets, you know. but you know. that wave crashes down top and bottom. Tier 2 is falling. I think that they more or less have been able to get the dividends out of that sink with the first lord. Most of the time when taking the first lord, you will want to bring down all of the outer turrets. But for next flash, they understood that so they need the lane turrets. They need the first tier defense turrets as much as possible. Everyone was preparing themselves for a siege of that one. Will commit on to Wise. But Edward's in the back right now. He's gonna be able to buy some time. His dad's gonna be Owl once again. Free hitting the back. That should be ATF down. 
Real world manipulation by Seacan. Not a good angle. Gago. Go. And Jonah to follow it up in the back. Zoning Venus away. You win. Oh, Zoning Venus. Come on. Does the same. Edwards next to the chopping block. Zoning's going to be taken down to the bottom lane. And this is Chuma versus Edward. 1v1. Edwards winning it. There's no way for Chuma to run. Edward. Sustain Really calm and composed, Blacklist International. Despite B7 having a good jump, they did not lose their composure. I gotta have to say, D7, that jump was great. As you see, Tarot's Revenge and Rage, but it kind of seemed as though Dona's damage on the DPS is just not necessarily not quite that. He was kind of like doing a drive-by as well. Yep. Oh my goodness, went out of the map yeah. to outplay Donut, and Donut was far too exposed. Edward had so much room to work with, so many so units enjoy. to utilize his dash. No, it's not that strong anymore. No, it's not that strong anymore. At this point, up against an owl who is scaled up, up against an Ovaria with impure rage, Romer that has so many resources. Chuma, no, 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 no. If quality is better than quantity, will he be able to win the big one, the big one? ATM or the force to use a split split as Owl tries to run him down. Should he be already jumping in? ATM! Very low. Mounting UA now. D7 on the back. Edward's forced to use the vengeance early. Donut's forced to recall. Lord has been reset. Meanwhile, UA. Meanwhile, UA chasing ATM down. How can he escape? The answer is he can't. UA finds the kill and Blacklist International will get the Lord for free. Burning Splash, no resources to open this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is now gone with the sound of Burning Splash, and they have identified that they can't go with this fight. Even if D7 do find a couple, they do not have enough damage. They, do, they couldn't zone the most important players away, which is going to be Owl. He's Tremor as well now. Ooh, a snipe from downtown from Venus. That's a position 5, by the way. That's a, That's a roamer. Painful things coming up from the side of Blacklist International. They understood that they're gonna have to poke their way in. They have a lot of high ground. Let's not forget about that. Yep. UA can even take away the RWM. Even more ways where Burnet can't even obvious. get themselves out of it. Yes, we have D7 and Shamar. They do have ways to eventually get themselves out of it with, uh, without being immobilized. But the main thing is really just to expend, uh, expend all of these resources from the side of Burnet Flash. Speaking of RWM, I think that Burnet Flash haven't utilized that real world manipulation to its uh, full potential. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's, it seems like they're not tactically using it. So they have to do a better job. See that? So, you know, so the, the the later, right? So if you go back to whenever he whenever he is being the MVP for the team, you have to kind of unleash that kind of see that. Mm -hmm. they, he used the Nook Mages. Kasi nung marap niyang patay. Now they just pop in it just for the sake of utilizing kasi itong blue nila eh. That should not be harap happening for Burnix Flash. And Chimahasa <laughs> needs to step up. Uh? I like how Burnix Flash has already cleared the middle wave clip creeps. So the only thing that they need to focus on is the top and the bottom lane. But that is a lot of avenues that they're gonna have to cover. A lot miracle of set. Mira pag nang miracle set na yun ano ni D7. Blacklist International, they're not necessarily looking to wipe out the entire base of Burnix Flash. They want to play in the most Discipline way yep, possible, and this is just pretty much part of their MO. Yeah, battle of attrition for Blacklist International. They will always. Wow, oh, wow. Oh. Mm. Okay. Of course, the flicker, but Zika is taken low. Edwards jumping in the back line needs to be careful, though. Off in the middle. Chamas zoning. Both teams disengaging. Chamas taken low, though. Bigger than you on the list. From Blacklist and burn. And that's a valuable resource. Look at Burn like Flash. They did not burn a flicker, a sprint. Yep. Owl has no flicker. This is the time span. This is the golden opportunity for Burn. I need defense. Twilight armor picked up. Sight many old the long this spell. It's not gonna be enough. When it comes to the gold lane, however, it's so difficult to be in the position of uh, donut. Do you go for a magic defense, like Athena Shield perhaps, or mm -hmm. or radiant armor or less, or maybe a rose gold meter? Or do you go back to the wind of nature? I guess if you're thinking about like the actual value of the team fight of Blacklist International, it's better to go for magic defense instead yeah. of the wind of nature. But that means that Owl might find an opening against him. I think that right now, either one would really work. 
Because at this point in time, even if don't uh, even when we are looking May at Lord Bart, na, the Lord main na DPS from Donut is no longer from uh, Lord 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 So I think that Burn X Flash, whatever they want to go for, the Athena Shield, or perhaps the, uh, the uh, Wind of Nature, both of them is still applicable because we are still looking at good amount of damage uh, damage from Edward, Yue, or my Venus when it comes down to the Athena Shield and one of the main damage dealers from our. I don't think the Wind of Nature is applicable at all. At all. Like, nothing. There's nothing to, to, to negate here okay. for physical damage. It's true damage of magic coming down. It's ATM now. It's going to be caught. Passing damage plays on to him. Wise is caught as well now in a mobility field. Donut. With Athena Shield, it's only everyone away, you are! Wow! wow. He finds his estimation very low oh, down the back. You are! And Owl! Didi, didi. You know, open ba naman, Leslie. Pinahirapan ng sarili. Kung walang Leslie dyan, may, may masaya buhay ni, ni Donut dyan. And I thought that, wait, Blacklist International, when did they have got a Martyrs? This is decimate after decimate. It seems like we have seen this time and time again and before. Let's see if they can defend this right now. Oh, GG, oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Game number three. Match point. Match point. Match point. The game for Black uh, for Game 3 guys, 2-1 the Blacklist. But unfortunately, it seems as though